Hello and welcome to this custom visual tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to be looking at word cloud visual and more specifically how we can use the frequency and value of words we see to make something like this. So a visual which displays the size of words by, by their frequency or their mention. And I've got a nice use case as well showing the fundamentals. We're going to look at a nice logistics or supply chain use case to show how we can use this to actually make data driven decisions. So let's get started. Here's the data that we're going to be using. It's just a variation of mock supply chain or logistics data that I've used in previous videos. Um, most of this content isn't really that relevant but we've got a shipping ID, shipping date, country origin, the destination country for the delivery, ton shipped and the shipment size. Now the fields that we're actually interested in are going to be the driver ID, on time delivery and late driver comments because if we don't have an on time delivery we're going to use word cloud to reflect these late driver comments. We'll see how frequently they're mentioned um, and we'll look for any trends in the data. So at the end, we can use a slicer, go through the driver IDs, and we can see if there's any cause for investigation, why things are being mentioned on which date, and that will enable us to, to look into our data and, and make some good decisions. I'm going to remove my dynamic DAX greeting if you're interested in that. I do have content where I, I showcase how to do this, but for now, we'll remove that and we will move up our text box and line and we'll just very quickly create another text box and another underline so that we can then present our word cloud visual um, a bit more clearly. I've already imported word cloud. Um, but I'll show you how we would do that. So I would hit the ellipsis, the three dots, and the get more visuals. After a little bit of loading time, we'll be taken into the custom visual marketplace, and we can simply search for word cloud within our search bar here. We can select the custom visual. We'll have a little look. It's got a nice 4.2 star rating, and it's Power BI certified which is great, so it should work stable on our current version of Power BI. We'll click Get It Now, and we'll import this into our Power BI desktop. Now, as standard, if I unpin this visual, it'll probably enter here in a separate line as it's a custom visual. We can just simply right-click, and we can pin it and we'll see this present within our other visualizations. So now we can select word cloud and we can begin to drag in the relevant fields that we'll look to analyze. As we said earlier, we're going to look at the late driver comments within our visual. You'll see that the Right now, they're, they look a little bit funky within word cloud. And if we look at our actual comments, we've got things like roadworks, breakdowns, accidents. Um, the words seem kind of convoluted and that's that usually happens if we've got more than one word answers within word cloud. So we'll look at how we can configure this. Now, it's important to note the first thing that we'll do is the standard formatting that we would do in any visual. I would usually take off the title in the background if I can. And you'll notice that we also need a value because if we hover over these things, it isn't relevant to the, the number of times that we see this comment. So I'm going to drag in the late driver comments again, but I don't want to change this to account right away within our values well because it doesn't present data colors if we, if we look to analyze this as account. So we can get around this when we import it in, it's going to look at the, it's going to say first driver comments, although that's not the, what we actually want to analyze at the end, we can change the data colors first, and then we can go back to looking at converting it to the count of the driver comments, that'll give us an accurate result, um, but we'll also have that nice data color formatting. 
so I'll just keep it consistent with my design theme. But you'll notice the words are still very convoluted. So if we go into general and we turn off word breaking, you'll notice that we now get the relevant comments. It looks nicer and it's correctly formatted. So it's important to know if we have more than one word comments, it's likely going to, to focus on the separate words. So if we turn off the word breaking, we see it's reflected correctly. So now we can go back, configure the rest of our data colors, make it look quite consistent with our design theme. But you'll notice we still don't have those correct values. So what we want to do now is convert this first driver comment to the count, not the count distinct, the actual individual count of these comments. And you'll see now we have larger values and the, the visual itself, each word is larger depending on how many times we see those comments reflected. So that's starting to work. If we double check our data and look in there, we'll also see that this is now reflective of the comments within our data set. So let's run through some of our other formatting options. We see we have a maximum number of words. We don't have to worry right now. We can change the minimum and maximum font size, which is, which is quite a nice feature. However, given that we've gauged what size we want our word cloud visual to be, we're not going to focus on it too much. I'm pretty happy with the space it occupied as standard. There's not much else in the general that, that's sort of exclusive to word cloud so we can skip past that now stop words is a really interesting feature here if we had longer comments with and or or we could look to eradicate these but what we can actually do we can type in any word that's present in a word cloud with a space so you'll see that i'm starting to delete words from my data set and it's very easy to do. Simply type the word or words or phrase and have a space and move on to the next one. However, we'll turn this off because we want to see every comment within our data set. But it's good if we have those sort of and or with words and we can we can delete those. So we can also change the, the angle or the, the rotation of the text. We could turn it off if we wanted. I think that's a bit bare. But we can change the minimum angle and we can also change the maximum angle. So if I change that to sort of a, a maximum 45 degrees, you can see it looks a lot nicer. We can also adjust the max number of orientations. So right now we have it set to two, which I think is a good level. If we have one, it just gives us that aligned, you know, it's still angled, but the text is showing one way. We can change it, we can increase it. I think that looks a bit convoluted for me. Two is a nice level of contrast. The, the angle of the text faces two different ways and I think it looks good. The performance doesn't have much of an effect in our visual and it's not something that I'm gonna look um, in depth at due to sort of the interest of keeping this video as short as possible. However, now if we hover over our visualization, now that our formatting is complete, we'll see that we correctly rectify the late driver comments um, by, by the value or, or how many times we see these appear within our data set. So what we can do now is add a slicer to our visual. Now, I'll skip past the formatting of this slicer, again, in the interest of keeping this as short as possible. But now if we click on each driver ID, we can see the frequency in which the driver comments appear. Now, what we can look for is trends and data. We can see why things are happening on certain dates. We can investigate that. We can see some, some drivers may have a repeated habit of excuses or comments, and we can drill into that. And this is something that's really valuable. Previously with WordCloud, I thought it looked good, but I was thinking of actual business use cases and this could be one. And there we go. We can return to our standard visual. It looks quite clean. Um, and if you like this content, as usual, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.